Hello and welcome to this video. Welcome to all my subscribers. Thank you for watching this video. Today I'm looking at Edexcel ICT GCSE, IGCSE and we're looking, continuing our work on May 2019, paper one. And as I talked about in the video on paper, on question one of paper one, which is the first part of this, the marks, the total marks are out of 100. So, so far we've done question one, which I'll link to the video in the end, you can watch, and that was 21 marks. So here I am on question two, I'm still looking at the case study, Zara. Zara uses a tablet computer to watch TV online. Describe the function of a router. So, when we think about data traveling across a network, we think about packets. It travels in packets. It's broken into packets and it travels in packets. Those packets have specific information on them to allow them to arrive at their destination. Now this data could be anything, it could be a video, this video you're watching, it could be an email you're going to send, it could be anything like that, but it's going to travel in packets. So, to answer this question, I, I, need, two, I need two points here, okay? Uh, there's plenty I could write for this. So describe the function of a router. It stores IP addresses in the routing table. The IP address is a unique address of your device. So that device, that's, that address for that device is stored in the table. Now, when you think about diagrammatically, this could be a packet there, and there's a packet of data. Up the top there is a header. So the packet contains data and in the header is details about where that's going to go to. So the router reads the packet header. It reads that header to get that information. It takes the recipient's address. And what it's going to do is forward the packet. To its destination. And it's going to do that in the most efficient way possible. Now, the packet switch network, if you think about this, these are nodes, for example, and the connection there. This is my network, A, computer B, and these are the possible routes I could go through there. Okay. Now, what will happen is that data will be broken into packets and it will go through these routes the it will choose the most efficient way possible. So the data is broken into packets. The packets are sent through the network separately, choosing the most efficient way possible and reassembled at point B here. Okay, so the router is reading the packet header taking the recipient's address, B, there, and forwarding the packets to its destination. And the packet is part of my data. So my data has been broken into packets, whatever that is, and it's going through the network. I'm going to be reassembled. My packets are going to be reassembled at point B in the correct order. Slightly different question now. Question B, state two benefits to Zara of online TV. Quite different to sort of technical one that we had in 2A. You might use online TV yourself and 
probably aware of the benefits, you need to, to write down two. So really, it's variety of content. You know how much content there is on the internet. There's so much more than there is um, in terrestrial television. It's always available. You can watch it whenever, whenever you want. You can access it anywhere with internet connection. So as long as you've got that, you can access it. You can pause. You can with this video. You can rewind, play back to your heart's content. So basically, think about YouTube. What are the benefits of using that? It's a similar concept here. Okay. Next question. C. Zara streams an online video. She sees it noticed in Figure One. Okay. Quite scary, really, if you get something like this. Um, we'll go through what this means. So if this happens to you on your computer, there's certain things that you need to, to do. There's preventative methods as well. So what's happened? Your files are no longer accessible. Can I get access to my files? Yes, if you send a payment. What do I have to do? 14 days to send a payment. How much? £500 in Bitcoin to ABC, etc. There. Right. So, what has happened, Zara's been a victim of ransomware. And they've managed to lock her out of her computer, and until she pays £500 in Bitcoins, so she needs to arrange all that, she's going to be locked out of the computer. Now, obviously, there's no way of, even if she does pay that, there's no way of getting a file back, there's no guarantee so basically she really is at the creek without a paddle here if this happened to her so i've written some notes here zara's a victim of ransomware okay she's got to pay this ransom to get her computer back basically to get her files back one mark it's malicious software malware malware is what's called a portmanteau, it's two words joined together of malicious and software, that's malware. It's been downloaded on a computer, you can see where the marks are coming here, three marks now, which has encrypted her files. Um, so she's going to need a key to unencrypt that, that would be another mark. Now, it's quite serious if that happens, there's quite some quite high profile cases of that happening. And the best way to avoid that, if that does happen to you, is to back your files up. So if someone tries to hold you to ransom there and say, no thanks, I'm not going to do that, I'm not going to pay that money, just wipe your computer clean because you know you've backed your files up, it's not a problem. Okay? But those are the answers to that question, that's how we get four marks there. 2D, slightly different question now, give two benefits to Zara of connecting her tablet to computer tablet computer to a television. So why would you want to connect your tablet computer to a television? Well, think about logically, you've got a bigger screen. Why would anyone want to do that? A bigger screen, better resolution. Your television has a lot more pixels than your tablet computer does. And so with those pixels, you get a better resolution. The more pixels you've got, the higher resolution, the clearer the quality. You can also have things like fewer health and safety risks, eye strain, and take advantage of better audio with your television. Another security question, E, Zara uses a pin to unlock a computer. There's three other methods you could use to prevent unauthorized access to her data. A pin stands for personal identification number. And you probably use them all the time for your bank card, for your phone. What are the other methods of security we've got? You could use facial recognition. So these are talking about bi biometrics now. So anything to do with biometrics, fingerprints, I'm going to list them here. 
This would be one each, but I'm going to list them together. Voice slash voice there. Voice recognition, iris, iris recognition. All biometrics. So these come, come under the umbrella of biometrics. It's using your body, basically, to identify you. Things that are unique to you, like your, your face, your voice, your eyes. What else? Password, good old fashioned passwords, still very much in use. You probably have lots of them. What are the security methods? Encryption. That's when the data is, in, is scrambled and it's given a key, and the key is needed to be able to unlock that data and to un scramble it basically to read it so that's what encryption is also got anti-malware anything like that and that's, that's three marks there 2f explain one advantage of using hosted applications with tablet computers so what this means is hosted application means it's using the cloud it's stored on someone's server whoever whatever company that is and it's not stored on your computer so the advantages are that it's going to use less system resources and what that means is it's going to take up less hard hard drive space so use less system resources it's going to save your resources on your system for other things that you want to do with that another advantage are apps updated regularly Your applications locally installed may have been installed some time ago. To use them online, you're going to get the latest version. So that's a good thing because you get all the latest features, all the latest bells and whistles, and also it's more secure because it's likely to have any security issues fixed. And the opposite of that, the question G, explain one advantage of using locally installed applications so exam tip here it's just one okay so we only need one but we do need an explanation so why would I want to locally install means I download the software and I put it onto my device. Why would I want to do that? Well, because I um, can use software without the internet. For hosted, you need the internet. You can use software without internet. It may not always be possible to have internet access, and if I installed it locally, I don't need the internet to be able to run that. It can also run a lot faster. So can use software anywhere, one mark, without internet, one mark, will load faster. If you've got a poor internet connection or low bandwidth, it's going to be an issue. So it will load faster without lag, one mark. So we're looking here for... A description and explanation so can you use software yet yeah, anywhere can use it anywhere without the internet two marks will load faster without lack two marks you could also have maybe because the data is immediately accessible you don't need connectivity to be able to you don't need internet to be able to use it so now we have covered up to question G and we are now up to 17 marks so add that to the 21 that we've got for question 1 and we're on 38 now just looked at the grade boundaries for 2019 for this paper and to get a grade 5 you needed 86 marks across two papers and that is out of 200 so just to do some some math there 
17 and 21 gives me 38. I've got 38 for answering those two questions correctly, getting full marks. And if I said, okay, 86, I needed 86 to get a grade 5, a good pass. If I divided that by 2, just a rough calculation, I'd need 43 for each paper. So you can see 43 minus 38, I'm just 5 marks short now of getting securing possibly a grade 5 and that's just assuming that it is 50 50 okay so you see how that how that works so already i'm almost at a grade 5 i'm definitely probably at a grade 4 for answering all those questions from 1 and 2 correctly i'm going to link to question 1 if you want to have a look at that thank you very much for watching this video